Hello and welcome. Today is the uh, 24th day of January 2017. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. Let's take a look at the gold to silver ratio going back to 1968. 50 years almost of this chart, which started roughly around the uh, historic 16 to 1 ratio. This is when the LBMA would start putting out daily fixing prices. So I have every daily data point that they have had, and I'm putting these numbers together. Each one of these periods, with the exception of the current one, represents 83 days of trading. The current one is about a third of the way through this cycle. Thus, when we look at the volatility and at half of the median, well, when you're only a fraction of the way through the period, that can be quite normal. There, by no means has volatility shrunk on the particular period. The years, this is the only way I can get it so that it actually is recognizable. When I put it in four digits, 1987, 2000 and such, it was crunched up. You couldn't read it. Unfortunately, I can't put a zero beside these ones in here. But if you want to know, I mean, 2007, easy to read. But I've also put the gold to silver ratio in for different countries. So in the United States, it's 70.57. Canada, 70.57. In Europe, 70.57, as is the case in Australia and New Zealand. And that is because it's this... Everyone takes in these areas takes the gold and silver prices, the U.S. price, converts it into their own currency, and regardless of which one I divide from the other, the ratio will always be the same. However, if I want to know what the gold to silver ratio is in other places, maybe China, India, definitely Venezuela, I don't think we'll be using these numbers for this time frame. I don't think. So starting this off in here, historic levels of 16 to 1. Gold throughout the gates over the last few years of the 60s and the start of the 70s on a massive tear where silver would later catch up as it would catch up down towards here. The 1980 level where silver went to 50, gold over 800 is when it retested the historic levels. But then we can see on this breakout that it actually sustained one leg towards the bull market. So if you put this into perspective... This happened from, say, 1980 all the way up to, like, 92, 93. So this was a 13-year run of bullishness. And then what hasn't ended yet, a sideways pattern of, well, from 1993. So we're looking at 20-plus years, almost a quarter century of this going sideways. Before it goes below this band, then above it, then below it. You get the trend. It's been doing this over and over and over again. So the question is, will it do the next thing again? Have a move into here? Maybe. When we look at the Fibon or the resistance level, we can see that this is a significant point. After this point, it had a decent correction. And then the chances of breaking it out go higher. It didn't do so. However, see if it would have went like this, that's that small correction you're looking for. It didn't do that. It had another larger correction. And again, this test. So it's had only a small move back. So any type of moves that go higher increases the chances. And because this previous high in at a hair over 100, that would be the next suggested level that I'd be looking for on the break above. How I am playing the gold to silver ratio is I feel that this entire move is going to be that of a failed move. Because we all knew historically that it was around 16. And then for a long period of time, a significant amount well above it. My prediction, and this is how I educationally guessing, is that the opposite is going to happen relatively soon. 20s and the 30s into the 40s maybe. Where it will trade well below this historic 16 to 1. Maybe in a range of 3 to 11 or something in that area for I think 9 to 1 is going to be a very big level. 9 to 1 is the amount of silver that is mined per year to the amount of gold, which is nowhere near up here. Also, 
the amount of gold that is actually used and pretty much non-recoverable is very low in comparison to what silver is as silver mainly gets stored and stored thus more of its available reducing its overall value in that sort of monetary sense so when I play this up here anytime I pretty much buy it's always been okay let's buy some silver or if I think about buying gold, I usually don't. I probably have somewhere around four to 5,000 times the amount of weight in silver over gold because it's not time yet for me to transition out. As this thing gets close to this level, that's where I will start to do such, where it will be moving into selling a small amount of silver for gold and then continuing to do so on moves lower, expecting this area to be heavy support. I think my best guess is on the eventual move down here that it would probably bounce and maybe go well into the 30s before finally coming back down again. I still think that it's going to go into single digits where the majority of the liquidation out of silver into gold on my end would take place. And this is just me making my strategy, and that's what it is for yourself to do. I'm presenting a chart analysis on such. There's so much available on the internet to help within your investment strategy or however you want to label it. And thank you for tuning in, and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.